tau overflows. The cycle when sex is the seed of love. Sex is the seed that blossoms into love if you know the process. Love is for awakening. Awakening is the alpha for enlight and enlightenment is the omega. Lotus grow, grows out of mud. When it transforms as lotus, it becomes sacred. You do not call lotus muddy. The seed of lotus grows in mud. So too, sex is the seed that grows out of your biology. Jesus said, God is love. But I say, love is God. Love is godly. Sex is the bioenergy from existence. Sex is neither knowledge, nor information, nor scripturalness. It is unknown yet realized truth. Through truth remains unknown and to some extent unknowable, yet can be realized in certain moments of solitude and inner oneness. And when realized, the process of transformation sets in motion. And when this solitude, this inner oneness is realized, the process of transformation sets in motion. Certainly in that realization, there is worldlessness, a dancing silence, a pulsating silence. You are the existence or the wholeness between you and the existence, all boundaries of finiteness vanish. Just a merger. <coughs> that is ultimate flowering of sex as lotus of love or awakening. This is unseen, yet a realization. It is no more sex. Instead, it is transcendence. Just as lotus grows in the mud, but when it has blossomed, it becomes sacred and it can be offered to gods and it is considered as the sacred flower. It is used as a metaphor for eyes. Just as you do not realize God, instead there is a realization, a taste of oneness. This you can call this realization of oneness within and then with another person who has attained to the oneness within, like the two spaces merging into one another. This you can call God or love. God or love that was once sex bioenergy is now transformed into a realization. And this realization is the first glimpse of light beyond. This realization is the first glimpse of light beyond is still it goes on flashing a moment comes when flashing light flickers and then it becomes steady and when it becomes a steady steady there comes a moment when this light becomes awakening it is not that you and God as love in front of you 
then there remains a gap. That which remains a realization where all that is known, realization is that state when all that is known is dissolved into the unknown and unknowable oneness. There remains only oneness. The gap, the duality of the two disappears. This realization of innerness is God or what you may or whatever you may like to call it. Better it is there is no experience of sex or love or God. But a certain experience is known as God, as love or sex. What is this experience? This is the experience where drop has dissolved into the ocean to be oceanic. In that state, the experience of drop is the same as when the finiteness of the being dissolves into the existential vastness. This is a realization, but there is no, no one to realize, simply realization. When Buddha attained enlightenment, the metaphorically we have to say Buddha attained enlightenment. It is in that state the entire existence became enlightened with him. And the feeling remains that there is enlightenment all around. The plants, the rivers, the mountain, everything. In that experience of in that state of experience of the drop is the same as that of finiteness of the being dissolves into the existential vastness. Just dissolution is there, but no one to realize, no one to speak. Instead, this dissolution is unexplainable and also unexplainable realization. You can experience it, but this realization is so vast that you cannot encompass into the words. It is like a dump has tasted a fruit. He is his expressions will manifest that what he has tasted, but he, has, he is dumb to express it into the words. The situation of the one who has dissolved is exactly like that of a dumb who has tasted something within, but there is nothing he does not have the words, the capability to express. So that realization is unexplainable. Realization is there surrounding you, but no one to realize, no one to speak. So you can say the realization is there. They, it, it is surrounding you like a flood and you see the light all around. Because in the moment of dissolution, oneness happens. Drop and ocean are one. Sex and love are one. Drop's individuality is lost. Drop is no more an individual. Instead, there is dissolution. So in that moment, Sex is no more sex. The sex is transformed. It has become the flower. The seed has blossomed into the flower. God, love, 
and sex is a realization, yet not a realization. No more an object, it is a happening. And one who is ready for this happening or explosion, one who is ready for this explosion, the miracle happens. Those who are ready for this explosion to happen, they realize the miracle happening around them every moment. For this explosion, you have to leave your ignorance and wisdom both. Is not that this ignorance and wisdom are two sides of the same coin. First, you have to move from ignorance to wisdom. Then you have to drop the wisdom as well. Sufis say there are certain stages. First, you are a mind. So mind is logical. It inquires, wants to know, understand everything logically. And he wants to know about the other world, the spirituality, inner development, and all these things he is desirous of knowing all that. First he has to abandon, dissolve the logic, the logical mind. Then all the desires to know this, to know that, that is Ukba, the desire for the other world. But this realization, this dissolution of logic is happening through a presence. That presence is your master, is your sheikh. And also in front of him, you want to know all about the other world, inner development and so. So first, you have to abandon the logic, then you have to abandon the Tark, the Ukba, the other world, and then you have to abandon the one through who you are realizing this. Because until then, he was separate from you. When the solution has happened, you and Master are not two entities. Drop and ocean are not two separate from one another. Instead, they are dissolved into one another. So both ignorance and wisdom has to dissolve. And beyond both ignorance and wisdom is innocence that Jesus is talking about. The day both ignorance and wisdom dissolve, the day both ignorance and wisdom dissolve, explosion happens. With that explosion, you enter the realm where gravitational force of the known, of the earth element, does not apply to you. This is the light beyond sex. No bondage, just total freedom, beingness, you can soar infinite height, L laying your wings stretched and you are simply floating. One who has known that which is simply floats. Enough for now.